What's going on guys? We are back with another case review and today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite cases for the 13 Pro Max and that's the Kadabe Sheath case. You can pick this up on Kadabe.com. I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out. It's going to run you 35 bucks so it's not too expensive but like I said it's one of my favorite cases so let's jump right into it. We're going to put the phone to the side here and taking a look at what you get on the packaging here. Kadabe Sheath. I did get the black colorway drop tested up to two meters or 6.6 .6 feet. It is MagSafe compatible, textured grip for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And on the bottom, you're gonna get a little bit of Kadabe branding. And then just kind of like a little pattern on the case. It almost looks like a molecular structure type thing going on. So nice touch there. And then on the side, minimalist perfection. On the back, much of the same up here. And then you are going to get their website along with their social media tags down there. So that's it for the outside packaging. To get the case out of the box here, you're just gonna slide it from the bottom, put that off to the side. This is what you're gonna be presented with. You're gonna get the case. And then on the inside, you're gonna get a little card, minimalist perfection. And then on the inside, it just kind of talks more about their brand and the company. And then on the plastic part of this box here, you're gonna get the Kadabe logo. So nice touch there. They took their time with the packaging. Very minimal, but it looks good. I can always appreciate that. Taking a look at the case itself, the first thing that you're gonna notice is this material that it's made out of. As you can hear, it's kind of like a sandstone type material. It is definitely not uncomfortable. It's very soft. It's almost kind of smooth in a way, but it is it is very textured as well. It's kind of hard to explain, um, but I love it. So they have it not only on the back, but they have it on the sides and the top, as well as around the camera. And the buttons are also made out of that same material. So this whole case is this texture material. Um, and I can tell you firsthand, it is very comfortable. Um, you do get a ring around your camera lenses here. So they are going to be protected and then you get your power button your volume buttons and your mute slider and around all of these they kind of accented them with this glossy finish so that's what's underneath this texture material of the case um, so you get it around the power buttons you or the volume buttons you get it around the power button and then you kind of get little accent points here around the case and around the camera lens there and then as far as like how rigid the case is I mean, it's a, it's definitely a flexible case, um, but once you pop your phone in it, it immediately like stiffens out. So you don't have to worry about it like popping off the phone or, or like drooping or pulling and stretching or anything like that. Um, it's a very sturdy case once it's on the phone. So looking at the inside of the case here, you're gonna get some Kadabe branding at the bottom. You can see their logo here, and that is actually the MagSafe magnets, serial number, and then just a little bit more branding. You're not gonna get any type of like pillow type things here, cushions for the phone when it drops, but 6.6 .6 feet of drop protection should do it for you, so should be all right there. And then at the bottom, this is the only part that you don't get that type of texture material. And I'm assuming the reasoning for that is when you're holding your phone, it's smooth at the bottom. So it's not gonna irritate your finger down here where all the weight is pushing down on. So there's the outside of the case and the inside. Let's pop the phone on and see how it looks, see how it fits on here. Nice snap there, got all the corners snapped in. First thing that you notice is that it is a very minimal case. It does not add much bulk to your phone. Um, and then on the back, like I said, it does stiffen up. It is not gonna pop off your phone at all. The corners are not just gonna pop off there. So even though it's a little bit flexible off the phone, once you put it on, it is a very sturdy case. Um, like I said, you're gonna get protection here for your lenses. And then on the back, it's very grippy uh, on the sides as well. So I feel very comfortable holding this in my hand. It does feel very safe. It doesn't feel like it's going to slip out um, and as far as the power button and volume up and down they're definitely tactile you're not going to have any issues with those and like i said same thing with the volume up and down now they do have the little air slits in them so just take note of that some people don't like it um, and the volume uh, mute slider switch is going to be good to go nice and wide so not going to have any issues there on the bottom you also will not have any issues with the cutouts as far as the speakers and the charging port goes and then the screen protection is really going to be minimal here you're going to get a, a small lip that goes around so if you set your phone face down it's not going to be touching the surface but if you drop it you're not going to get too too much protection um, i do have a tempered glass on here so you can kind of see that the clearance is not that much it's going to be a very very faint lip um, so you should be good to go like i said laying it face down but if it drops not so sure about that um, and then the fit on it I mean you can pop the corners off fairly easily but it's not gonna pop off if it just drops 
on the ground. So should be good to go there. Um, all in all, I think this is a great case. It is one of my favorite cases. Another creator and a friend of mine, Technically T, turned me on to this one. So shout out to him. I'll drop his channel down below in the uh, description. He does a few reviews on the Kadabe sheath cases for the 12 series and the 13 series and I'm sure a few others on his channel. So I'll link him down below. You guys can check that out. He has some great content. He turned me on to this case and I bought a few of them now. Actually, I do have the blue one to show you guys too. So let me pull that one over here. This one is the Mesa blue color, I believe. Let's pop the black one off. And we'll pop the blue one on. I just want to show you guys what this one looks like. They have a few different colors. They have the black, they have the mess of blue, then they have their green, and I believe the other one is gray, if I'm not mistaken. So this is the mess of blue color. I mean, it looks great. I think it would look really good with the Sierra Blue iPhone 13 Pro, but looks great with the silver one as well. Um, same thing, you're gonna get some Kadabe branding, some of that glossy uh, finish here, and then power buttons and volume buttons are all gonna be the same, very tactile. Same mute slider cutout. You're going to get the same lens protection and same thing at the bottom here as well as the screen protection. So same case, just a different color. I wanted to show you guys what this one looks like as well. So I'll pull the black one over here so you guys can see. This is the black offering and this is the Mesa Blue. So like I said, you can pick these up on Kadabe.com. It's going to run you 35 bucks. I'll leave the link down below for you guys if you want to check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell so you never miss an upload. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.